Hi, this is Jessica Fox filming for VETT222, task number 10, um, which is to perform an in-house electrolyte and chemistry panel, as well as setting the blood work out and getting it ready to send out to an outside lab. Um, so uh, this is the OCCI certificate here at the Lafayette Veterinary Clinic, and we can go ahead and get started. Um, so I'll show you everything I need for this task. Um, this is the IDEX Catalyst 1, which is hooked up here to the IDEX vet lab station. And once the results are imported here, they also get imported directly to the patient's medical record and client tracks. So as you can see, we have a canine patient, Lessa Marks, here. We're going to run a Chem 10 and electrolyte panel. And I have the Chem 10 clips here. And what these test for is albumin, um, elk foss, ALT, BUN, creatinine, glucose, and total protein. <coughs> and then I also have the electrolyte clips here, which test for sodium, potassium, and chloride. All right, so I do have the, the two clips here that I need for this test, as well as the patient's um, sample cup. I have a 300 microliter pipette, as well as the um, patient's serum. So we'll go ahead and get started. I do have to use um, a pen to click here because it doesn't, it responds to sound. So we'll go ahead and click the patient and run. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and click on Catalyst 1, which is the machine we're going to use. And then hit run. All right, so the next step is to open up this machine here. And this is our patient sample cup, so I'm going to use the pipette to suck up some of the serum. And then place that in the sample cup. And this pipette um, sucks up the exact amount that is needed for this test according to the manufacturer's instructions. <clears throat> so we'll place that sample cup right here. And then this is the clip for the chemistry. Um, each plate here has its own, it tests its own, like it has a, a total protein, glucose, each test has its own little plate here. So we'll go ahead, put those in there, as well as the electrolytes. Okay, perfect. So um, this is all set up and ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and close this and hit this button here. <clears throat> and then this machine is kind of talking to this one over here. As you can see, it's running the Catalyst 1. Um, and this takes about 10 minutes to run, so when the results are back, we will be back. All right, so we're back, and our um, results have finished up here. So um, they were pending, but now they are under recent test results. So we can go ahead and click on the patient and view the results. And here are all the results here of the, um, the chemistry and electrolytes. And kind of scroll down and see um, and they're all labeled properly with their proper units of measurement here so we'll go ahead and import these into the patient's medical record and that's right here um, on client tracks so you just go ahead and click import in IDEX vet lab and the results will automatically be in there and there they are and we'll go ahead and send the doctor a message regarding those results Okay, the second half of this video is preparing blood work to send out to an outside lab. Um, so it is done spinning in the centrifuge here. So I'll go ahead and grab this. This is the red top with Bailey's name on it. And this is a good sample, so I'm going to transfer that into this um, properly labeled tube. It has the patient's name, patient ID, and date. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab a pipette and transfer the sample. Okay, and we're going to, this is a pre-op panel, so we have the um, serum, the EDTA whole blood, which we will place in the IDEX bag here, as well as um, citrated plasma, which I'm going to get from this blue top that we spun in the centrifuge here. So once again, I'm going to use the pipette to transfer the plasma. A new clean pipette. Okay. So there's that. And I do want to mention um, that all three of these tubes are properly labeled. We have the patient's name, ID number, and then date on all three of these tubes here. So we will place them all in the same IDEX bag. And um, what we're going to do is in the medical record print out 
the um, form, the blood work form to send to the lab. So go ahead and print that. And while that's printing, um, we have a outgoing lab work um, paper here. We just record the patient's name um, and the test submitted in which lab and date we drew the blood and, and send it out to. So this is Bailey. Carlsman, which is a pre-op panel. IDEX and the date. All right, so that is printed out. We'll go ahead and fold this paper up and slip it right in the front pocket of this IDEX bag. And to properly store this until the carrier picks it up, it will need to be um, stored in the refrigerator. Um, so in just a moment, we'll head on over there. Okay, so we're here in the pharmacy where we have our um, refrigerator here. So we'll go ahead and open this up and we have a ready to send box with all the other blood works that we're going to send out. So we'll put this in here and store it until it's time to get the box ready to send out.